it, when it comes to investing in leadership and culture development, what criteria do you consider when determining the value of a course? <laughs> that also depends. I think it's very different if you're, uh, yeah, it depends very much on what they're supposed to learn. For example, I have had colleagues over the years that were great lighting designers, but they needed to get better business skills. For them, the best practice was not going on a course, but for company, going with me to a client, seeing how I talk to them and getting over time them to take over those meetings. Mm -hmm. Whereas that if I, I had that. mentors who needed to be better, they often need to do changes, which are slightly more difficult, I would say, rather than maybe sales skill. At least from my experience, it, it is harder for a lot of people to to change into the best. <laughs> um, so, for example, for someone who needs to learn leadership or understanding value of a value-based company culture, you would need longer time and a combination training, like the one I just described as a leadership mm -hmm. training. Whereas if it's, uh, say, one of my more junior designers, maybe they need to be okay. better at a computer software. They probably need like a theoretical course, uh, a session when they sit with the teacher, look how it's done, and then use that program in all their coming projects to just, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. look by doing. So, as I said before, it depends. Yeah. It depends. It's a dependent variable. Okay, so the next one. And yeah, I totally agree. It's like, it makes sense, right? If being a better dancer or being a better salesperson is what they need, well, then it needs to be sort of taught in a way that allows them to apply it rather than just know yeah. how it should be applied. So next one, 